Hello everyone, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me for another Fabricate Friday video. I have this super cute uh, two little treat or um, kits, I guess you want to call it. Um, visitor gifts, I would say. So what's inside is those you know vanity kits that you get from the fancy hotels or actually any hotel there's a couple of uh, ear swabs and a little emery board and um, a facial cleansing pad and the other one has a sewing kit and I've actually seen these little guys at the dollar store um, I'm pretty sure that you can get a um, little bag and you know make your own the idea came from this little vanity kit and sewing kit um, recently I had gone to a pretty fancy hotel and they gave this to us as a you know um, in case we forgot something so I thought it would be kind of nice if you have guests coming for Christmas that you might want to use something like this if not you can just put treats or what have you and put it in people's stockings or whatever so I'm going to show you how I went about making it so we'll make the box first and we need a piece of cardstock that is five and a half by four and a half on the long side I'm scoring at a half one four and a half and five flip it around and we'll score at half two two and a half and four and I will just score the uh, matchbox or sewing kit let's call it uh, five and a half by three and three quarters um, on the long side we're scoring at three quarters of an inch and then again, next one to it, the seven eighths, three and a quarter, and three and three eighths. And then we're going to flip it round and score it at seven eighths and one, at two and seven eighths, and three. All right. So I'm going to fold and burnish all my score lines and then I'm going to do some stamping so because this the example that I showed you was Christmas so you can kind of see what you um, what you could do with it if you had Christmas visitors but what happens if you had visitors just any other time of the year so I'm going to do a non Christmassy version. The initial, uh, the stamp set here was called, is called Marius Wishes. Oops, I have that right there. And I'm still going to use the Marius Wishes, but it's not going to be Christmassy. So I'm using stamps out of the new catalog, or the Christmas catalog, I should say. Okay. So I have the snowflakes, or what have you, right there, but I'm going to use my rich razzleberry, the ombre, stamp and let's see here I want the latest color cute 
and this part so for the stamping on this guy you see a long skinny bit here this will be the back so because it's going to go like that right so this is the front i'm just going to get a spare key piece of card here to cover and i'm going to do the same I haven't used this ombre ink very much on video, but I do like it. I'm gonna just stamp with the Tin of Tags stamp set. This is for you in Black Archival. It's by far easier to stamp before this is made. I'm gonna just do one more little step here. I think I want the dots to sort of continue up here. So I'm going to ink this baby up again. Then I'm going to stamp off. I'm going to cover where I actually had stamped. And I even got more of an ombre effect, which is kind of what I wanted. Okay, let's put this these babies together, shall we? Okay, so if this is our front, what I'm going to do is cut up. And then cut down. Oh, cut down all the way here. Down this way. Take off that edge. And then we're going to wedge in the little corners. And I have to say, um, the first box that I made, um, this one, I used my big scissors. And for such a little job like this, I don't know if, um, if you've used these little tiny scissors before, but they're awesome. They're super sharp. Oh, and I gave myself one tab too many. Whoopsies. Okay, so that's what you should have so far. We're flipping it around. I'm going to remove this whole section here, so not to waste your time there. And we'll cut down, down, and down. We'll remove, wedge, wedge. Remove, wedge, wedge. All right, one more step to use is a corner rounder. And I find corner rounders exceptionally helpful. And I've recently, can you believe this? Recently, I'm starting to look at this side of things, especially when it's a handcrafted um, box like this, it makes more sense to be able to position the rounder. And I just see that I need to trim off a little bit of my score line. Okay, we can put this box together now. So this is going to be our where our adhesive goes.
And if it doesn't fit snugly, your cut is probably off. Or if it doesn't fit in as well as you would like, that's probably the problem. So just a cute little box. And then this one is super easy to make and I will bring out my big scissors for this one. It was easier. I'm going to cut here all the way up, all the way up. And then not the first, not the first score line, but the second score line you're gonna cut off. So the, not the first score line from here, but the second one we're gonna cut off, cut. And we're gonna go right to that second score line and then cut on the second score line. And then, just because um, it has an angle going on in there, so I'm gonna take my big scissors and I'm going to go from this corner to that corner. And this is the reason why I like these big scissors because I can do it in one kind of a go. Um, Stampin' Up! used to sell them. That's why I have them, but they don't sell them anymore. But I have seen them in uh, the sewing store. They're actually, I think, ribbons, ribbon scissors. And yeah, you're paying like 35 bucks Canadian for that, but they are awesome for box making. And look how sharp that is. I'm able to, without bending the paper, anything. I'm gonna use glue dots. Okay, so I'm going to glue dot here, just at the bottom, I'm gonna put two glue dots. You could probably use any adhesive, but I think the glue dots are actually stickier. And way easier to position, and you're not gonna get adhesive everywhere. All right, so. There is a little bit of a lip here, so you're gonna have to maneuver that. Tell it who's boss, in other words. There you go. Now the one other thing that I think I had on this issue was this piece being just a, like it has a, oh no, this one's perfect. Um, just a little bit of a, a gape. It was harder to get it in and out. So I just took off maybe like a 16th of an inch. There. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On the screen are two more videos for inspiration. To see a picture gallery of all my projects, stop by my blog. Thanks again for watching.